Hello my dear students and welcome to NH202 lesson 4 mega project. By the end of the lesson you will be able to first extract specific information from a reading text. Second, identify phrases for discuss for discussing options and making decisions. Third, assess a project and finally identify part of a proposal. Can you think of the advantages and disadvantages of growing cities? Here are some of the words of the advantages and the dis disadvantages of growing cities. I'll give you some time to read them and classify them into the positive or negative. Let's check your answers. Very good. The advantages are big events, meeting a new people, shared experience and activities. On the other hand, the disadvantages are overpopulation, noise, high cost of living, lack of space. Read the text and answer the questions on the next slide. I will read it for you. Overpopulation is a major issue in big cities around the world as many countries experience a massive rural migration to the urban areas in search for a better life. This led to the concentration of these new urban residents in and around the big cities. Now, I'll read the next paragraph. Faced with this flow of people, governments and project developers quickly built constructions that mainly concentrated in the outskirts of those cities, bringing together families that generally could not afford to live closer to the center. However, that did not accommodate all the residents, so those cities started expanding horizontally to make room for all. Consequently, that led to the destruction of more natural resources in many countries. As a result, proposals were put out to resolve this issue. Vertical cities were almost on top of the list as a solution 
to the dilemma. Such cities will be filled with, sky, uh, with skyscrapers that house thousands of people. These buildings could be as tall as 400 floors and contain housing, stores, hospitals, schools, farms, and outdoor spaces. All that in one building that is part of connected structures. Different options need discuss discussion like how the city will look like, who will live there, what material will be used, and other options until decisions are made. Urban development is unstoppable, yet major projects ought to be assessed. Before embarking on the vertical cities, options need to be discussed at and decision made. Now let's read the questions and find out the answers. Question 1. What is the main cause of overpopulation in big cities? Number 2. What was the first solution taken to host a large number of people in cities? Number 3. The noun concentration, line 2, means focusing, gathering, or attentiveness. 4. Complete the table with information from the text. Type of project, number of people it will be accommodate, facilities, advantages, actions to be taken. I'll give you two minutes to find the answers. find your answers. So, very good. Number one, massive rural migration. What, we, what do we mean by massive? We mean large and mass. Number two, what was the first solution taken to host large numbers of people in cities? Very good, concentration were built quickly in neighborhoods. And the meaning of word concentration gathering, four, as you see, the type of project, vertical cities, number of people it will accommodate, thousands of people, facilities, like what building could be as tall as 400 floors, housing stores, hospitals, schools, farms, and outdoor spaces, advantages, making room for all these new people coming to the city, 
and decreasing, reducing the destruction of more natural resources. The action to be taken is what study options and make decisions. Now let's fill in the paragraph with these words from the text. We have here four words, first solution, future, building and cities. I'll give you two minutes to think about the right answers. I'll read the paragraph for you. Faced with the growing increase in the number of city dwellers, density is a crucial subject for architects and will be even more so in the future. All major cities have large building blocks whose architectural models date back to the last century and may no longer function probably in the future. This is a problem forces us to seek new solutions, new ways of thinking about the city. The direction highlights the vertically and concentration of services as a solution to the inevitable saturation of cities of tomorrow. Now we will move to two important concepts of the lesson. First, discussing options and making decisions. So what do we mean by discussing options? Any decision making process should ensure that sufficient options are generated to enable a decision. What do we mean by sufficient? It means enough. And how about making decisions? What do we mean by that? Making the decision without considering sufficient options is an easy mistake to make. So what is the solution? It's always try to generate as many quality options as possible. If you want to discuss options or make decisions, you have here some examples of useful words. When you want to discuss options, you can say, what about, if you want to write more, or I recommend, if you want to recommend. I recommend, what about, there is another uh, and of course, there are another words that you can use. And how about making decisions? You say, we reach a decision. Agreed, it means that you agree with the, uh, with the idea. Great idea, it also means you agree with the idea. Okay, so these words can help you to write about, the, uh, uh, to write about making decisions or discussing options. Now, Let's fill in the blanks with the missing expressions for making options 
and making decisions. We have here the word nice idea, would like, about calling, option, reached a decision, other possibilities. I'll give you two minutes to read and find the right answers. Very good. Now I will read with you the right answers. A. I believe we need to name it. What about calling it Sky City? It's easy to remember. B. Hmm, it is a possible solution. I suppose, but there are other possibilities. You see the word here, other possibilities. How about Galactica City? A. Yeah, Galactica City. It sounds good to me. I must say, but what other names can we think of? B. Well, one option would be to call it Emerland City since the building will be made of green glass. A. I don't know. I'm not too keen on to that name. Do you have one other option? B. If we call it Paradise City, I think most people would like that name. A. Hmm, nice idea. I really like the name. So nice idea it means we agree with the idea. B. Me too. Ok. We both seem to like it. Are we all agreed then? Have we reached a decision? It will be Paradise City then. A. Yeah, agreed. Now it's your turn. Imagine you are working in a planning department. You were asked to submit a proposal for a big project in your city. Write a proposal including the name of the project. The project can be related to your school, to your work, to your training, or any type of a project. When you write about your project, you will consider the type of the project, the facilities in the project, people benefiting of the project. So the project will address who, then the advantages, the good points about the project, and finally, actions and future steps. Okay, in this book, in this box, you will find some of the questions that can help you. For example, which material should be mainly used? Concrete, steel, glass, other. The next question, what should be general shape? 
one tower, several towers. And who would benefit from the project? What style would be suitable? What kind of restaurant or other food outlet should be there? What other thing you feel important? So if you consider these questions, you will be able to write a very good project. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.